Welcome back. Well, we are breaking out some serious girl power for this segment. We are going to learn about three fabulous women authors who you can meet at the Women Craft Art Gallery. Welcome two of those authors, Kelly Fitzgerald and Denise Sassoon, as well as Grace and Zoe Ryan from Women Craft Art Center. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank oh, you for, thank having, you for us. having us. Like we're saying, serious girl power right <laughs> now. Kelly, let's start with you and uh, your books. I know we said there's going to be three authors. We're so glad two of you could join us today. Tell us about the book that uh, Heather has in her hand. The book is called Beyond the Loss, Breaking the Stigma of Depression and Suicide. It is a compilation book. It's about um, it's stories of love and loss and people who did take their lives and the impact it had on those who were left behind. It's a subject that people don't like to talk about, but especially this time of year, we see more and more people kind of dealing with some depression issues. And the whole point of the book is to start a dialogue. You know, let's start a conversation. Let's talk about these things that we don't want to talk about. And maybe through talking about it, we will change someone's mind. We'll get someone to say, you know what? I do need help. I am having some really dark thoughts right now. So that's, that's what the whole book is. That's what the point of the whole book is. Well, what I really love, too, is the collaboration between all of these authors. So how many yeah. authors are in this book here? There are 12 Wow! in that. Um, it was a social media experiment. I put a, a post out that I was looking for stories that people were willing to share. A couple of people in the book did change their names. They did change, you know, the names of, of uh, other people in the book. But uh, it, was, it came about by social media uh, just asking, have you had this experience? And then you put it all together into, yeah. into one location. And now we have another book um, that we're also going to be talking about. Um, I'm the author of 5 to 15, A Woman, A Prison, A Redemption. And that subtitle sort of describes what it is. It's essentially a book about um, growing up in the 60s in Tucson and getting into the wrong crowd as a youth and then ending up in prison for five years and then coming out of that experience and finally overcoming all of those obstacles. Wow. So it's geared towards people who have either been through it or have loved ones who are in the middle of that dilemma and want to change and also counselors, law enforcement, those kind of people. So, and we are actually going to get the opportunity to meet you lovely ladies in person and a few more authors, right? And that is where you two come in. Yes. So tell us about the craft fair. Right. So we are the Woman Craft Art Center, which is a nonprofit organization. We're an art center downtown located at 388 South Stone Avenue. So it's a beautiful 1918 Victorian building that houses, we have a gallery, we have artist studios, we've got a school of the arts where we teach workshops, and we have small events. And so we got in contact with these lovely women and we're going to have a book signing event this Friday in the art gallery, so you'll be able to see the beautiful work on display mm -hmm. and meet the authors. Yeah. So you were talking about some of the pieces in the gallery. Do you only display women artists? Um, that is actually a question we get a lot, and we are actually 100% non-exclusive, so we accept everybody. All of our shows, we have five shows a year, and they all have themes which allow us to accept a wide variety of mediums and the kind of work that we see, but it kind of keeps one connecting thread throughout the whole show. So the show that's up right now, while these ladies are going to be there for the uh, book signing, is the Holiday Bazaar. So the theme of that show is that everything is $100 or less, which is wow. fantastic. And it's a great opportunity to get fabulous, unique gifts and support local artists and nonprofits all at once. So You know that. We love yeah. local here yeah. on the show. <laughs> so you mentioned, though, this is year-round. What other kind of projects can we expect throughout the year? Uh, we do all kinds of things. We have rummage sales in both August and January, which are indoors, so you can enjoy them both both in the heat of the summer and the what we call cold of the winter. And, <laughs> and <laughs> we do, um, we have receptions the first Saturday of every night from 7 to 10, and those are free and open to the public. We have drinks and snacks, and you can meet the artists and kind of mingle and check it all out. And we always have a really wide variety of stuff going on there, and it's uh, 
just a really cool thing to be a part of. Classes and workshops, and we have an all-natural hair and body salon. I mean, you name it, and we do it. So. We do <laughs> it. I, I love that. And I know we're talking about this specific event, and we know we've had mm -hmm. uh, both of these lovely authors on before on the Morning Blend. But please tell us about the third author that will also be there. Yes. So the third author is a friend of yours, Yes, right? it's Holly Rutenberg Dickinson. She's from Phoenix, and her book is called Finding Myself. It's a Finding the Gems of My Being. And she also has an adult coloring book that goes with that. The thing that is wonderful about Holly's book is that one of her children is the illustrator. Oh, wow. wow. So she's, uh, it's, a, it's a very special book. It was a, a family project that they did. Wonderful. Oh. Well, I think this is an amazing time of year to be presenting these books. And the fact that they get to meet you and get their books signed is huge. And then you've added all this extra stuff yeah. like icing on a cake. Ladies, <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for joining us this morning. This is going to be a very special event. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. And again, you can attend the book signing at Women Craft Art Center this Friday from 2 to 6 p.m. For more details, call 629-9976 or visit womancraft.org.